Force Triad Energy Platform Preventive Calibration with QAES-3. This video demonstrates how to perform calibration on the Force Triad Energy Platform using the Fluke Biomedical QAES-3 Electrosurgical Analyzer. You should calibrate the Force Triad before performing routine maintenance. While calibration is not part of preventive maintenance, it is required when components are replaced. Make sure the calibration is performed on a non-conductive surface. Do not use anti-static benchtop mats. Note, after completing any calibration section, reboot the system to save the values from that calibration section. Calibration consists of 10 steps. Step 1. LC Filter Tuning LC filter tuning is rarely required. When necessary, these are the steps when using the QAES-3. Make sure the force triad is off. Remove the four screws, securing the chassis cover. Remove the variable hijack of the QAES-3. Connect the ESU dispersive safety lead to the variable low and the REM port on the force triad. Press F2 on the QAES-3 to enter vessel sealing mode. Select 0 ohm load. Turn on the force triad. Touch the wrench icon on the right side of the screen. Select Service. Enter password as provided in the manufacturer service manual and press Enter. Select Diagnostics and then Debug Mode. Select Mono Blend from the drop down list. Choose Mono 1. Select Open Loop. Set level to 20% using the Up button. Press F4 for Start Continuous on the QAES-3. Select Start RF on the Force Triad. Adjust the inductor potentiometer located on the HVDC PCBA to get the lowest possible reading on the QAES-3. Select Stop RF when the optimal current value has been reached. Turn system off. Unplug the leads. Apply Loctite or an equivalent to the inductor potentiometer. Reinstall the cover on the force triad and reboot the system to save the calibration data. Step 2. Set date and time. Touch the wrench icon. Select Setup. Select Time and Date. Adjust time and date, and then press Enter. Select the back button to return to the main menu. Step 3. Brightness Calibration Select the Service button. Enter the password as provided in the manufacturer service manual and select Enter. Select Maintenance and then choose Calibrate. Scroll through the Calibrate menu list and select Brightness. Click Next. Complete the on-screen calibration instructions for each of three touchscreens for high and low intensity settings. Select the arrow button to save calibration data. Step 4. Touchscreen Calibration Select Service. Enter the password provided in the manufacturer service manual and press Enter. Select Maintenance and then Calibrate. Scroll the Calibrate menu list and select Touchscreen. 
Using a stylus, touch the center of the crosshair targets. Complete all targets, starting with the left side of the screen and moving towards the right. Step 5. Scanner Calibration The next step is a scanner calibration. This requires a ligature instrument with a dot pattern on the connector. A barcode connector won't work. To perform this test, select Scanner from the Calibrate menu and press the green arrow. Follow the on-screen instructions and then select the green arrow. When the on-screen calibration instructions have been completed, select the red X to exit. Step 6. RF Leakage Calibration Select Leakage Calibration from the Calibrate menu. Connect the ESU Dispersive Safety Lead to the REM port on the Force Triad and then to the variable high port on the QAES-3. Connect the black test lead from the variable low port on the QAES-3 to an alligator clip and attach it to the ground lug on the rear chassis of the force triad. Press F2 on the QAES-3 to enter vessel sealing mode. Select 0 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. Select the Next button on the Force Triad to continue. Follow the on-screen instructions to perform leakage calibration. When on-screen calibration instructions have been completed, press the red X to exit. Press F3 on the QAES-3 to stop the test. Remove all test leads. Step 7. Current Calibration Select Current Calibration from Calibrate menu. Included with the QAES-3 are two special cables for ligature ports. Connect the black cable from the rightmost jack of the Force Triad Ligature 1 port to the variable low on the QAES-3. Connect the red cable from the leftmost jack of the Force Triad Ligature 1 port to the variable high on the QAES-3. Press F4 for Start Continuous. Follow the on-screen instructions on the Force Triad and select the right arrow button to continue. Whenever the QAES-3 times out, simply press F4 for Start Continuous. After the on-screen calibration instructions have been completed, Select the red X to exit. Press F3 on the QAES-3 to stop the test. Disconnect all test leads. Step 8. Voltage Calibration Select Voltage Calibration from the Calibrate menu on the Force Triad. Connect a red cable from the rightmost input jack of the monopolar port of the force triad to the variable high on the QAES-3. Connect the ESU dispersive safety lead to the variable low port on the QAES-3 and then the REM port on the force triad. Click the QAES-3 back button and then press F1 for generator output. Select 1000 ohm load and then F4 for Start Continuous. Follow the on-screen instructions to calibrate with 1000 ohms.
Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Select 5000 ohms and then press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Follow the on-screen instructions. Note, do not hold down the up or down arrows on the fourth triad. Irreversible damage may occur to the system. After the on-screen calibration instructions have been completed, select the red X to exit. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Remove all test leads. Step 9. Auto Bipolar Calibration Select Auto Bipolar from the Calibrate menu on the Force Triad. Connect a red test lead from either input jack of the Force Triad Bipolar port to the variable high on the QAES3. Connect a black test lead from the other bipolar input jack on the Force Triad to the variable low on the QAES3. Press the back button on the QAES3 and then F1 for generator output. Select 500 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. Follow the on-screen instructions on the fourth triad to set peak voltage as displayed on the QAES3. Press Next on the fourth triad when completed. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Press the back button and then F2 for vessel sealing. Follow the on-screen instructions on the fourth triad to change the load on the QAES3. On the QAES3, press F4 for Start Continuous, then select Next on the fourth triad. When the on-screen instructions have been completed, select the red X on the fourth triad to exit. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Remove the test leads. Step 10. REM Calibration Select REM from the Calibrate menu on the fourth triad. Connect the ESU CQM safety lead to the REM port. Connect the red banana test lead from the ESU CQM safety lead to the variable high on the QAES3 and the black banana test lead to the variable low on the QAES3. Press back and then F1 for generator output. Select 100 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. Select Next on the fourth triad. Press Next one more time. Use the up or down arrow keys on the fourth triad to adjust the peak REM voltage as measured on the QAES3. Select Next when completed. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test. Press the back button and then F4 for CQM. Move the red banana to the CQM port on the QAES3. Make sure the QAES3 is set to 0 ohms. Press Next on the force triad. Select the load indicated on the force triad using the dial control on the QAES3. Select Next on the force triad and continue these steps throughout the test sequence.
When the on-screen calibration instructions have completed, select the red X on the force triad to exit. Press the back button on the QAES-3. Remove the test leads. To complete calibration, save the calibration parameters and power cycle the force triad.